Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today, we're checking out a Browning High Power that some of you will probably think runs against the grain because of the splatter job. Uh, this Cerakote is graphite black, and of course there's a really bright cherry red splatter on it. Kind of looks like uh, John Wick was up close and personal with some face shots. <laughs> and of course, there you go. Yeah, it's cool though. It's fun to be different. This is a very high-end build, and it has a really fun Cerakote job, so kudos to the owner. Uh, that said, we have a threaded barrel on this one. This is the BH Spring Solutions uh, threaded barrel. It has a one in 10 twist. And they just released these not too long ago. We're very happy to get our hands on one. So pretty cool, our first threaded barrel high power. Awesome. Uh, that said, up front got the Trijicon HD, night sight of course, high visibility for the day. Rolled right back into the Heine 1911 mil spec edge, excuse me, mil spec ledge. And we actually radius it right into the serrations of the rear of the slide, as you can see there. Really nice little detail. Of course, the rear of the site, like all the other ones, cut completely flush with the top of the slide, and just really aesthetically uh, runs well together. The rear, uh, this is also something new for us on this pistol, or something we haven't done on any of the other ones, is a spur hammer. So this is our little mini spur, and he actually works with beaver tail, which is pretty cool. We have done the mini spur on other pistols, but we haven't done them uh, with a beaver tail. And as you can see, that works perfectly there. Rear of slide serrations, and of course we cut out the 1911 mil spec ledge, and the hammer rolls right up in there. You can see the profile of the uh, sight. It rolls right out into the hammer, and the hammer rolls right into the beaver tail. So it has that really nice uh, visual appeal. And of course the hammer runs right into the back of the serrations, and it doesn't sit proud like that would be proud. It rolls perfectly in there. So, you know, attention to details as we say. Beaver tail, of course, absolutely beautiful. The faceting rolling from the back strap all the way into the back of the beaver tail. Uh, faceting on the front strap as well. High cut under the trigger guard. And of course, our famous re sculpted flattened factory trigger. We have the RDIH slide release here, serrated. He wanted the serrations up front, so when he goes to uh, you know, manipulate the pistol, he can actually keep that front end down. It's almost like a speed ramp or like a gas pedal, whatever they call those. What else? We have safeties, shaved clean, of course, welded up, blocked clean on the other side for the ambi. Cylinder and slide, extractor, and yeah, beveled magwell up there as well. VZ Pro Slim Grips, excuse me, VZ Palm Swell Pro Grips, I believe they're called, but they have that nice curvature. Other than that, we got our single stage trigger job. Let's go ahead and check her out. So. There's your brake, reset, brake, reset, brake. Awesome. Can't touch those trigger jobs, they're just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, it's fun, you know? You don't see these every day, uh, done in a wild pattern, especially with uh, high powers being high dollar on Gunbroker these days since they're out of production and you know, you send them to us, they're not gonna <laughs> be cheap in any sort of way, but um, you know, it's cool to see a lot of custom touches with something fun like this, you know? Life's too short not to have fun and do what you want to do. Anyways, questions, comments, concerns, as you all know, leave them and we will answer accordingly. Really, it's a really, really fun gun. Anyways, y'all, until next time.